Good day folks, at the kind request of a pilot friends of ours on the channel, I would like to include in this video the VR graphics settings that I'm using on Flight Simulator 2024 and which are currently giving the best results. As you may know, a Flight Simulator 2024 is heavier from a graphic point of view than Flight Simulator 2020, so we have to accept a deterioration in performance and for this reason, the graphic settings must be optimized again. Uh, if before my system, um, you can read in the description, I could have a stable 40 frames per second in almost all situations, liners, GA, complex scenery. And now I have to settle for 36 frames per second at best. So this means that the VR viewer, the VR um, headset must be set to a frequency of 72 Hertz which allows you to have 36 frames per second on the PC with, with the SSW or equivalent algorithms enabled um, I'm talking about virtual desktop if everything works correctly the perception inside the VR headset will be 72 frames per second which is more than enough for the purposes of a civil flight simulator so, let's go straight to the point. These are my graphical settings. Uh, general tab, we don't care. So, uh, we go to VR graphic, uh, VR graphics here. First line, and most important of all, is the NVIDIA DLSS Super Resolution, which allows you to achieve a super performance in terms of FPS. Um, opposite to the TAA option, uh, in my opinion. Remember to update the, the LSS version to the newest 3.8.10 uh, by using the DLSS swapper uh, seal link in the description. I've chosen the quality preset because everything lower than this uh, gives me a blurry reading in the glass cockpits and, and, and the small gorges. And there's also an ultra quality that can be activated by using some external scripts but this could be covered in another video maybe this is the AMD Fidelity effects sharpening also named CAS uh, basically it's an algorithm that improves sharpening and helps uh, after the DLSS upsampling to make pa panels like um, panels digits you know clearer and crispier so uh, so as to make the readability better um, projection projection mode is off uh, world scale is 100 um, you can change uh, this to your liking um, for example if the flight deck looks like too narrow or too big you can change this and you can adjust the size of the environment. Um, NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, uh, by default this is on. Dynamic settings is on, but never figure out what it is doing actually, because uh, whether it is on or off, it should tune the parameters automatically to meet the FPS targets, but in my opinion it's not working properly because it does nothing. Uh, Okay, terrain level of detail is 100, like objects level of detail is 100, because I've found that everything below results in having objects uh, disappear at distance. So, if you don't want things to disappear or terrain look um, flat at distance, try to put those parameters at least at 100. Um, okay, off screen terrain pre pre-caching, it's important to have this parameter on I or even ultra because this prevents textures from being loaded every time you move your head with the headset so having the textures already loaded in the memory helps a lot with stuttering and freezes for example so high or ultra is advised displacement mapping uh, this um, okay this enhances the close-up terrain detail uh, you can see for example bumps uh, and 
you know, elevation changes uh, close up, uh, of close-up terrain. Very nice if you are walking or if you are flying very low and slow. Um, those are the settings specific for the different assets, uh, so quality, visibility, and amount of building trees, plants, rocks, uh, grass. I've set everything to medium because for me it's more than enough. Uh, you can try set them to high, but especially grass and trees are very heavy on performance. Um, objects level of details is 100, same as terrain, load. Um, volumetric clouds, yes, I have them set to high because I didn't like the medium preset. I had at first so high if you uh, if your graphic card can afford so yes high is the right spot in my opinion text resolution mainly depends on your GPU VRAM so my card allows to have a an ultra text resolution although this is more suitable for example if you have a 4090 but also with a 4080 which has uh, 16 gigs you can uh, try uh, textures at ultra and it helps having crispier and sharper textures especially at the moment when the simulator is plugged with a very blurred world because of the uh, you know of the data stream issue i hope it will be fixed soon anisotropic filtering texture maxed out at 16 times super sampling i've set those at four times four because you know it's not impacting performances too much this helps a lot with say with the ground markings details and crispiness it makes uh, the ground markings sharper so it helps when you are taxiing on ground at airports water waves i like having a, a very good looking water so uh, i've i've them set to high um yeah Ray tracing shadows. I cannot change this. I don't know why I, it can be changed uh, only by selecting an ultra global preset. So I don't care about this for the moment. Um, so all those settings lines here below deal with shadows and other effects. Um, I've, I've found that all those settings impact very much on VR performances, but the result doesn't affect quality that much so i decided to set everything to a medium uh, or to a low level overall because the benefits on frames is uh yes the benefit is visible especially terrain shadows try to keep those very low say two five six um windshield effects this is bugged so uh, you can change it but it won't it won't change actually in the simulator so i've set this um yeah i've let this to uh, at i ambient occlusion is off cube map reflection one nine or two uh, ray match reflections off uh pretty much heavy on fps light shafts medium um glass cockpit refresh rate medium uh character quality i don't care about them so medium uh or, or even low is uh is good um so you can see everything is very basic here uh traffic airport quality and air traffic i have them set to off since i don't need the ai traffic because i use uh, the vat sim network usually and normally um, um sorry road traffic sea traffic i have them set to a minimum degree because especially road traffic might be impacting the cpu load and last fauna is at medium because uh i like seeing animals i i don't think them uh to be so impacting so medium or uh, even high if you like well okay i hope 
uh, this screen has answered your questions about VR settings in FS2024. As I stated at the beginning, uh, remember that those settings are tuned to achieve my target frame rate of 36, uh, which is the minimum for a decent VR experience, in my opinion. We hope that the upcoming fixes and patches of uh, 2024 will bring back the performance we used to have with 2020, which uh, actually is giving me a stable 40 FPS uh, and more. Okay, feel free to ask whatever you want in the comments below. I hope that this video has been useful to you and see you to the next one. Take care and bye bye.